Hi, I'm Dave Bricker. Welcome to my basic web tutorial. I'm going to start off in Adobe Fireworks. Here's my toolbar. And I'm going to create uh, some very basic elements. This is going to be my logo. I'm going to drag my tools off the screen here. So I've got a few more uh, pixels to play with as far as what you can see on yours. And then I'm going to keep this very basic since it's really just a uh, concept design. So this is going to be a bar. Um, I'm going to option drag this bar down towards the bottom. I want to put that over a little bit and now let's create some buttons and um, let's call those buttons home uh, about and products which are just sample names that we might have on uh, on a pretty typical website. I'm going to make those a little bit smaller. Um, I'm adjusting my properties down here. Let me see if I can do this on your screen so that you can see what I'm doing. I like to use one text box when I make buttons like this just because it makes it a little bit easier uh, to get everything lined up evenly. So now we're going to take these and we're going to put them off to the side and maybe I'll make them gray and then let's see let's take the logo and let's put it underneath and uh, I'm gonna make the phone number make up a telephone number now my document is slightly wider than your screen so when you see me going off the screen I'm actually doing something like that I'll step in and out every once in a while so that you can see what I'm doing. And this is basically it. Now, I'm going to, um, just for my sample, I'm going to create an image that'll be about here. And let's do something with that image. I'm going to put a, a crazy gradient in the image. And I'm just setting up some colors. Again, let me move my properties up so that you can follow what I'm doing. You could steal images off the internet, um, whatever, just for a sample. Ideally, you'll create your own, use some photography, something like that. And so, anyway, here's an image. I'm gonna move my properties back off to save some room. And what would happen is my type would come out to about here, aligned with the image and back down. Now, I'm actually gonna want one image on each page. So what I'm going to do is just for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to copy these images here that I've created. And um, in each case, I'm going to change the colors a little bit. And then this one can be... Now the reason I've chosen these gradients will become obvious to obvious to you in a minute it's real important that we optimize these images and we're going to want to choose GIF or JPEG as is appropriate to the image so here are three um, that we're going to end up choosing JPEG for most likely but we'll get there in a minute now the next step is we really want to plan our tables because we're going to create tables in HTML that represent this design so I'm going to go ahead and um, do this normally I would do it with a pencil sketch I'm going to do it here and I'm going to overlap things a little bit so they stay on your screen but um, I'm going to create just for my example, a new layer. Here's my layer. I'll close this one. And now this is going to be my tables. Again, normally you would do it with a pencil sketch and it'll provide a good reference for what you're doing. Now I'm going to just draw a box. And the way I'm going to set this up is my top table is going to have oops no fill and I'll just give it a green border so that you can see it in your movie and then I'm gonna do the same thing with a line and you can see that my first table is going to be two rows one column my next table I'll just copy this
and because I've scaled it the border scaled too so we'll bring it back now my next table is going to have my buttons in a column column one um, so my buttons will fit here then there will be the image and the text wrapped around it um, for purposes of my exercise I'm gonna I don't want my text coming all the way out to the edge so I'm probably going to do something like this and then the bottom table is actually identical to the top it's going to be row one and let's squeeze it up a little bit so it fits in your view here's row two there's the table let's move that nudge the row up and if I remove my layer one you get an idea of what I'm going to have as a matter of fact I can even label these this is going to be the logo um, this is going to be the bar let's try that again the logo the bar here's the bar again I'm going to move the phone over to the right and then my buttons are going to sit in here and then I'm going to have over here in each page a photo with wrapped text so this blueprint is going to become very very important to what we do in our next step so here's my tables layer and um, here's the one underneath and you can see the idea here's the original site and then here's the tables which I can turn on or off because I put them in another layer uh, in the next step we will slice and optimize the images and get them ready to embed in the code but this planning step where we blueprint our tables is really the most important